Thank you for your interest in Burndy products and our series of instructional videos on proper installation techniques. Burndy connectors are designed to exceed industry standards and provide trouble-free service for the intended life of the application. Long-term performance of any electrical connector begins with selecting the right connector for the application and installing it using proper techniques. In this video, we will show you how to install the Burndy bolted wedge inline disconnect switch. The switch will be installed on 336.4 26 over 7 ACSR. Prior to installing the switch, a few steps must be taken. Understand and follow all safety procedures established by the utility, especially when working on energized lines. Those procedures trump any conflicting practices shown in this video. Next, verify that you are wearing all necessary personal protective equipment, especially for work on energized lines. Now confirm that both connector catalog numbers match the connector catalog number on the nameplate of the switch. It is possible, on some switches, the catalog number may have a suffix CON instead of C. This is the equivalent to the C on the connector, and that the conductor being used matches the range shown on the switch. Next, verify the conductor being used fits in the range shown on the switch. Next, verify the dark gray oxide inhibitor coats the inner groove of the connector, and that the connector moved freely when it is squeezed. Moving on to the switch, verify that dark gray oxide inhibitor coats the cable groove. Next, verify that both swing pads are oriented perpendicular to the cable groove, and that the pad swings freely by pushing it down. Lastly, open and close the blade to verify it is not bound. Next, thoroughly wire brush the conductor to remove all oxides. To begin the switch installation, firmly grasp the switch so that the cable groove is face up. Next, lift the switch to the conductor and guide it onto the cable groove until the conductor snaps onto the swing pads. If the swing pad does not snap, or the conductor is too loose, it may be necessary to loosen or tighten the swing pad accordingly. Tighten the eye bolts under the switch until the swing pads firmly hold the conductor. Next, hold the connector so that the hot stick tang is facing down, and then squeeze the connector by pushing on the bolts to open the connector. Now, attach the connector so that the upper cable groove rests completely on the conductor and that the lower connector groove is on the rudder. Slide the connector so that the back of the connector is flush with the back of the rudder. Now repeat the step for the other connector. Using a 3 quarter wrench or socket, tighten each bolt until they bottom out on the connector. Next, tighten each bolt to 480 inch-pounds by tightening each bolt approximately 25% each time and rotate. It is recommended a torque wrench be used to achieve the correct torque, but the bolted wedge technology will self-correct if the tightening torque is 200 inch-pounds or greater. Repeat the process for the bolts on the other connector. Using an approved cutting tool, cut the conductor in the center. Next, either pull the conductors up or cut them off per your utility's work methods. Your Burndy switch is now installed. For written installation instructions or more information about your splice, please visit burndy.com. Thank you.